News Matt in the building. What's good, y'all? Hope you're having a blessed day. Man, oh man. I thought we were done with this situation. And honestly, I didn't think Nick was going to respond. It's been a couple of weeks. But, in matter of fact, he has officially responded to Chris and Cash Nasty. We're going to jump straight into it. It was interesting to say the least. So, if you're new to this channel and you love basketball content or anything like this, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. Now, without further ado, let's get into the news. Oh, yeah, real quick. Before we get into this video, I'm feeling good. So, if you guys want to see a double upload, let's get this video to 500 likes in the first couple of hours. And we'll double upload tonight. Back on topic with this video, let me give you the brief rundown before we get into the reaction. The Savage Squad, who was one of the biggest teams on YouTube, they split up. Chris, he accused Nick of a ton of things. He tried to recruit Carlos. It was a big mess. And then you had Cash Nasty getting involved. He was showing proof that Nick set him up. It got messy. All of that happened roughly a week or two ago. It was looking bad for Nick because he wasn't responding to anything. He was just letting people talk. The only thing he even said about any of it was he went on Instagram and said Chris was lying, and that's basically it. However, last night, he finally responded to the allegations that Chris made and Cash Nasty said. Let's get into the live reaction. Live reaction, Matt, in the building. So this response that Nick is doing, it is on his newest video. It's at the very end. As you can see, we're already at the 25-minute mark. One of you informed me that he did do this response apology i haven't seen it um i have no idea what he's gonna say let's just get straight into it yo, yo, yo. what's going on everybody i just want to say i appreciate you guys for watching the video uh this whole process this whole journey from beginning to the middle to where it's at now i uh, just want to say i appreciate you guys from my heart and it's going to be not gonna lie i don't know so where he's staying but it looks fire i like the view rolling pushing forward um i want to speak on chris and i want to speak on cash nasty um let's hear it you know guys me and Chris were very, very close. We talked on a daily basis, seven, eight, nine times a day. Uh, homie switched his gym membership to come to my gym so we could work out together, talk, game plan, strategize. Uh, we were filming videos that were getting very dangerous, y'all. You know, people were getting put in very dangerous positions. I don't want to pause anymore. It's probably the last time I pause. Honestly, I know a lot of you don't like Nick anymore. You're all Chris fans. This entire situation, it's sad because these two dudes, they had a friendship. They were close to see it fall out the way it did. I'm sure some of you in life, you've had some friendships fall out. It's sad. It really is. Being pulled, the whole aggressive style basketball, don't back down, you know, go hard, talk trash. It uh, got to a point where people were really putting their lives at harm and their lives at risk to make the content that was being made, as in us, me, Chris, Chauncey, Ima, Carlos. Um, so me and Chris started talking about, you know, this is very dangerous. People could potentially get hurt or killed. So mm -hmm. what should we do to make these videos to be able to get them done in a way to keep people safe? So me and Chris started strategizing and game planning. Yo, we could plant this guy in this situation. We could put this guy in this situation. That was after 28 successful real videos. I am going to speak on this. I do think that's right. I think at the beginning of Nick's content creation when they were making these videos, most of the stuff, or if not all of it, was real. Then it was getting to a certain point. The bigger and bigger you get on YouTube, you almost start to... I'm sure some of you have watched Pretty Boy Fredo. If you know, you know. The videos start to become fake after a while. I think at the beginning, like Nick was saying, they were real. But then they realized they could get hurt. Somebody else could get hurt. And now they're thinking of a safe way to film the content and maintain the views. I want to let you guys know Chris knew everything that was going on talked to the guy every day like he was my brother really only one of the people I talked to with passion and, and really spoke to unfiltered multiple times on a daily basis this whole act of he was putting people against me and I didn't know what he could have got me hurt because I was using my anger you know it's a bunch of bullshit imagine having somebody that you're with every single day that you truly you talk to about family you talk to about friends you talk to about real life issues and little do you know they're recording all your phone calls 
Mills, and they're setting up. Kyle that is low key messed up. Chris very, was plotting on Nick's downfall. Look, look, play. I know some of y'all gonna be like, man, quit, you know, quit siding with Nick. I'm not siding with Nick. Is that not weird to you guys? How, even if you want to say Chris is in the right, that's cool. I mean, maybe he is. But is that not weird how Chris had phone calls from months ago? A little fishy to me. Seems like he was plotting on the downfall. I'm just telling you how I see it. Plan and process of the brand, um, you know, and the content. And then uh, to find out they're just recording calls. Chris and, really and played his cards perfectly. Because now Chris they, is in a great uh, position. to do this for the past couple months. So it's pretty heartbreaking and pretty um, just crazy to think that you could have someone that close that could be setting you up and you don't even know it. So, um, yeah, this dude acting like he didn't know what was going on. It's a bunch of bullshit. So for Cash Nasty, man, Cash, all we were doing, bro, was a content dang dog. All we wanted to do was enhance the content to take you and put you into an environment that we're constantly in. Cash Nasty, you know I love you, bro, and I would never put you in a situation to hurt you or to harm you, and I think it's pretty Okay, with the cash thing, it's a little different. I was you know, a little disappointed after hearing Cash's response that Nick didn't apologize, you know. I understand, like Cash was saying, I understand you're trying to get your views and you're trying to make the biggest and next big video pop off and get millions and millions and millions of views and subs. That's okay. As content creators, you understand or we understand. You got to do what you got to do. It was the fact that Cash said Nick didn't give a real apology that somewhat disappointed me. Let's hear what else you got to say. Fucked up that you didn't even say nothing to me, bro. You were into the internet while I'm being accused of 50,000 different bullshit things. Uber drivers not giving Carlos nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like a bunch of bullshit being said about me. I had no idea what to come to you and speak to you about, bro. And if you would have told me as a man, this is what's being said. This is what's being talked about. When you don't even this know is what, what I'm saying. There's two the sides to every story. All the different scenarios he put in my mind, I put in his mind, that we put in each other's minds to enhance the content. You didn't say nothing to me, bro. Instead, you took someone's bullshit word and you ran to YouTube, you ran to the internet, and you tried to put everything against me just as everyone else has been doing if you would have approached me as a man and say yo nick this is what's being said this is what's being done what's up then i would have told you bro yeah i got a little peanut head the smallest dude on the court to come mess with you to enhance the content <laughs> you know i don't want it it did appear with me that cash was siding more with chris maybe chris is right I just wanted to hear, I wanted to hear Nick's side before we make any judgments. I hurt you. You know I'd never try to get you hurt. You know I'd never do nothing to put you in danger, bro. At the end of the day, man, this is YouTube, dog. This is content, man. It's That's facts. It is, this is bro. entertainment. I didn't hire no one to take you out in life. That's all this it is. This is stuff being filmed on a camera where you got everybody around to protect you and help you. And you could, bro, no one tried to hurt you, dog. You know I fucking love you, bro. All you had to do was come talk to me, bro, <laughs> and ask me what was good. You know I love you, my guy. You, you had to run to YouTube where you know it would do numbers. You know you would make money, so I get it. I understand why you wouldn't say nothing to me, bro, but it's fucked up, dog. And because of that, I don't have a damn word to apologize about, man. I got nothing to say. This is YouTube. This is content on YouTube, bro. That's facts. But, uh, this is YouTube, bro. If you take YouTube serious, you're a man. weirdo. We're going to keep going. Say what you want. Love the supporters. Always love the supporters. Uh, I think y'all know uh, trendsetters, and we're going to keep it going. Alrighty, Nick say not really apology, but his response to Cash Nasty and Chris. That was interesting. I was, the only thing, I almost think Nick played it out perfectly, and he didn't play it out perfectly. When you get in a sticky situation where you're getting accused of things, one of the worst things you can do is try to defend yourself and then you make your argument even worse. Nick took a different route. He went quiet. He didn't address anything till what? It's been two to three weeks now. My only thing with that is when you don't address things and when you don't put out this video quicker than what he did, it has people thinking, oh, I guess he's in the wrong, even if you're not in the wrong. Let me know what you think about Nick's response. Let's get back into the commentary. So there we have it, Nick's official response. It went pretty much the way I thought it would. 
he was addressed in the Cash Nasty situation. And my biggest problem with that, why are they going back and forth on YouTube? They both have each other's numbers. I think they both need a man up and have a phone call. You can say that Nick is the one who needs to make the phone call. I'd agree 100%. But at the same time, Cash is the one who was claiming they're best friends. So he needs to man up too. And he needs to make a phone call. I think they're both, they can't put their pride aside. And they have too big of an ego to say one person's in the right and one person's in the wrong. If you want to say Nick's in the wrong, that's fine. But Cash, if he is feeling some type of way like he is, he should make a phone call in my opinion. I'm not saying they gotta be best friends for life, but it would help clear up the air. I don't have too much to say about the situation. It is what it is. It doesn't matter whose side you're on. It seems like this is coming to the end, and hopefully this is the last video we make about it. Like I said, if you want to see a double upload, make sure you leave a like on this video. Also, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.